Hey guys, this is Ryan, and welcome back to another tutorial. Today we're going to be rigging an office chair uh, for animation, or um, maybe just to pose it around a scene. Um, we'll have controls for the casters, um, uh, the base, and just kind of a main master um, dummy. Um, we're going to be kind of covering a few concepts, um, such as grouping, uh, setting pivot points, uh, orientation constraints and um, just how to um, attach objects to a dummy so you can control it. Alright, let's get started. So before you kind of jump in and start rigging things, you need to kind of analyze what you're actually going to be moving. Um, you don't want to kind of overdo it um, if you know you're not going to be uh, maybe, let's say, rotating this thing, this like height lever. Um, you may not need to if if uh, maybe a client wants to just um, you know show it posed correctly a lot of times they they want these bases um, pointed a certain way or something and the casters need to be kind of always following um, uh, the base so um, kind of analyze what you're going to be doing and then you can kind of make decisions like what I, what you really actually need to rig like you know you might not need to get in there and, and rig every little part but um, just the main things you're going to be doing. So, uh, the first thing we're going to do is start grouping things. So, since since none of this stuff is going to move, we're just going to put this in a big group right here. This is just kind of one whole thing. Um, we can, yeah, um, we can group this as a one whole object. We'll call it chair top. Uh, let's just hide this for now. We're going to take this guy. I'm going to call this um, chair base. Um, I'm going to take, yeah, so since there's five casters here, we're just going to do one and then we're going to copy it over later. So um, we'll call this uh, chair caster. All right, that's an eye on these guys. Uh, so we got three groups now, main one here. Um, our base and then our, our caster. Uh, we, now we got to set these pivot points correctly so it rotates. So if you go to the bottom here and rotate this thing, you're going to notice the pivot's not set correctly. There's a, there's a big wobble going on there. All right. So what we want to do is um, we're going to open up this group right here. All right. So since we grouped everything, it kind of sets a pivot onto the group. We want to we want to um, center this group pivot to an object that has a correct pivot. So if you look at this guy, we'll go here this this cylinder in the middle here. We're going to go to the effect pivot tab up here. All right, effect pivot pivot only. And we're going to center it to the object. And you see it pop over there. Now, if we test it, if we try and rotate this thing. Yeah, there's no wobble at all, so it's it's rotating correctly. So we want to set this group pivot to this object's pivot. So how we do that is we just grab, make sure it's open, grab this pivot. Um, we're going to affect pivot only, and we're going to go up to this align tab, and then click on this. And this uh, this dialog box will come up. Make sure X, Y, and Z is is selected. Pivot from one pivot to another pivot. So you just hit OK, unclick that, and then once we close the group, we should be able to rotate this. Yeah. No wobble. Great. Let's hide everything else. So let's grab this base. Sometimes these things are, are set correctly, but a lot of times they're not. So. Um, so what we're going to do is we're just going to grab this guy we're going to set this base pivot to this guy because it's they're all they're all on the same pivot they all share the same um, they all share the same rotation so I'm just going to take this and the group open um, grab this effect pivot only align to this guy. Uh, I 
everything the same as last time? Okay. Let's close it. Rotate it. Cool. No wobble. Looks great. Okay. Let's grab one of these guys. Let's take a look. Yeah, you can see the pivot's off, so we need to put that pivot right on this guy right here. So you can just kind of grab it and eye it if you want. A lot of times it works. Sometimes it's uh, sometimes you need a little bit more exact. Um, but I think we can just kind of eye this. You can kind of see this line right here, and then this line right here is really the center. So I think this kind of looks good. Um, now let's try it. Let's try and rotate it. Yeah, that looks good. Cool. Easy enough. Um, so what we're going to do now is uh, attach these to dummies so we can use them as controls. Um, so what we're going to do is create, um, create a dummy for this guy. Um, whoops. Let's just drag it out. And what you want to do is align, again, um, the dummy to the pivot of the object. So since we already set that, set that up. Oh. So this is a funny thing. You can't just align it to the object because the object has a different pivot than the group. So remember that. So grab this guy, group, open. We want to align the dummy to the group. There we go. Now it's right in the middle there. So let's close it. And when you're making dummies, guys, I've seen a lot of times some people will, will make them like super tiny, you know, like this or something. But when you're like trying to animate and you're in a scene and you're kind of way out, you just want to be able to grab these things like that. If you got to like kind of go way in here and to, to find this guy, to grab it, it just takes forever. So. Don't make them huge, but make them big enough so you can you can grab them and see them. So, um, all right, cool. So let's name this dummy base. All right, we're gonna go up here to the link. We're gonna link this object to this dummy. All right. So now when we rotate, take the dummy. It uh, rotates the base. Um, I'm going to do that same thing here. Grab this caster. Um, let's just make this a little bit bigger than the caster. I'm going to do the same thing. Let's open up that group. Let's take this dummy. Call it dummy caster. All right. I'm going to align it to this dummy. All right. Let's close the group. As you can see, the object and the dummy have the same pivot. So we're going to grab this caster, attach it to the dummy, test it. Awesome. So now what we're going to do is copy these over. I can probably just get rid of these. Grab this, grab both of them, shift, select, um, sorry, shift, uh, drag, and then we're going to instance these. Alright, so grab this guy, let's go to the bottom view. Uh, then we want to just kind of put these into place. Cool. Yeah, and do that, you know, five times. Um, I'll speed up this section so um, it's not so uh, tedious. So bear with me. So we got all of our dummies over here. 
um, in this in the place. Um, so right now we have uh, this base um, casters. Now we need to get uh, just one more in here. Um, let's just get a main one. So this is going to be the main uh, control for the whole chair. All right, we're just going to center that. You know, we can do the same thing. We can we can align it to this guy. That way, it's right in the middle. Okay, so we'll, we want to take this guy and this group and uh, attach it to this main dummy. Okay, chair master. All right, so. That moves there, okay. The space. Um, this is going to be attached to this main dummy, all right. So we take this, we move it. Oh, everything's moving now, all right. Um, cool. Um, now what we're going to do here with these casters is we're going to set them up on a different control. So we can we can move them all at once um, instead you know instead of going through say the chair turns we'd have to go through all these like this and turn them like that um, I, there's a orientation constraint that you can use um, that will uh, it's just one node and you can um, you can control them all at once so we're gonna set that up. We're going to create a circle here. All right. um, and you can just kind of zero it out. Uh, I'm just going to move it up a little bit. And we're actually going to uh, align it to this middle, the center again. All right, so we know we're right in the middle. Um, now what we're going to do with these guys is grab this. Grab each dummy of the caster. Um, and we're going to go to rendering, oh, sorry, uh, animation, uh, constraints, and then orientation constraint. And we're going to click the circle. Okay. Now, uh, we want to go to uh, okay, so go to the well, you can kind of test this out here. Um, so each of these is sharing the same pivot point from, I guess, where we set them before. So um, this control is controlling that. All right. And um, if you grab each one of these, and go to your motion panel here. Um, you can see that orienta orientation constraint is there. You can delete it, or uh, there's some options here. All right. This is just a very simple, simple way of, of going about this. Now, how does this whole thing work? Um, we ha we're going to have to attach a few more things. So, um, this needs to be attached to this main group. Okay, we grab that. All right, and these these as, as well. So we're going to attach these to here. All right, so move this across. Everything's moving. Rotation here. Great, everything's moving there. What about this base? Oh, well, let's see. The casters aren't following when the base moves. So we're going to have to kind of go back and um, I'll figure this out. So um, I think we, we're going to have to see. We just connected this, these casters to this main one, right? They need to be connected to this base. Because when the base moves, the casters have to go with it. So what we're going to do is just grab the, the dummies again. Okay. I'm going to link them to this guy. All right. So when this moves, they're all going to move. But then we also have control of 
with this guy that they're going to move. Alright, so let's tr test it out again. Our main control. Yep, let's spin it. Awesome. And we're done. So, so essentially, um, we're kind of just set up for a few different rotations and uh, transform on this main one. Um, and what you can do is, um, when you're all set up here, Can, um, you have the options of let's hide this stuff here. Let's hide our helpers. So as it comes across, you can um, you know rotate the base, rotate the the casters um, coming in and out. Um, and this guy, as it's rotating, kind of set keys on it, and um, so they're always following the base. Um, but yeah, it's just kind of a really kind of simple way of um, um, setting up your product. So um, let me know if you guys have any issues or comments. Um, make sure and like and subscribe. And uh, I'll try and uh, get more tutorials out. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, we'll see you soon, guys.